Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about how to avoid spam before buying an expired domain. We are going to be using several different tools in this training, so let's get down to it. First, let's do a live example of filtering out some domains with the power of DomCop. So let's start off with selecting the expired filter. Is I want to pick up a quality domain that has already expired. You will also notice that this list has approximately 3 million domains. With some filtering, we should be able to filter it down to a more manageable number. I also personally like to use the advanced filter setting, since it allows for more filtering options. But if you prefer, you can also try the simple and common filter as well. Now let's click on the advanced filter. Okay, now we're on the advanced filter dashboard. To save time, as you can see, I already pre-populated some filter settings. To filter out quality domains, I like to use the following settings. Under the Moz widget, I have the Moz Trust set to 3. Next, I set both the domain authority and page authority to both 10. And I also set the referring domain to at least 10, since I want to get at least 10 different domains pointing to that expiring domain. Next, I set the Moz spam score from 1 to 4. Since I want to filter out possible spam, Anything over 4, I would filter out. Next, let's move on over to the Majestic SEO widget. Let's set both the Citation Flow and Trust Flow to both 10. Next, let's set the TF and CF ratio to 1. The goal is to have the metrics as equal to each other as possible. Now, let's leave the rest of the filters alone and click on the search button on the bottom. Okay, now we are back on the DomCop main dashboard. You will also notice that the number of domains has been filtered down based on the previous filter settings. Next, click on the Show Me Only Available Expired Domains button, as this will filter to show you only expired domains in the results, as you can see here. As mentioned in previous tutorials, I like to set the TF column metric from low to high. Let's do that. Which gives me a better indication of higher quality domains. Okay, we are now ready to spam check the expired domains that have been filtered down to a total of 19. So let's look at the first domain, linkmealover.ca. We are going to spam check it by verifying it with a variety of DomCop tools. So let's first start by clicking on the Wayback Archive button. As you can see, we are now at the Wayback Machine Archive. It's a very important spam checking tool as it will let you take a peek back in time to what the expired domain used to look like, as well as the most recent date. If you notice, the domain is organized by the original date to the most recent date. In this example, for the domain linkmealover.ca, we will take a peek at the most recent snapshot of this domain, which is the year 2015. Now we're going to click on the most recent date, which is February 13th. Let's click on that. I can already see that this domain would be not a good domain to buy, since the most recent date has a redirect, and all of the link juice has been passed on to the new domain. So let's go back to DomCop and take a look at the next domain on the list. Okay, let's spam check the next domain which is oliviasweb.com. Again, let's start by clicking on the Archive button. Okay, this time we will start by checking the original date to see what the domain originally looked like. Click on the year 2001. And click randomly on any day. As you can see, this is what the domain originally looked like when it was first created. And it looks pretty clean. Now, we will check for spam by comparing it to what the domain recently looked like. Let's click on 2015. And click on the most recent date, which is August 1st. Okay, the web archive machine says it doesn't have the page archived, and I don't see any redirect, which is good. So let's continue and click on the next date, which will be the year 2014. Let's 
Okay, this page is archived, but it doesn't look like anything like the original website. So it was most likely picked up by a new owner and he created a new website. I personally don't buy domains such as this, except when the new website has almost the same look and feel as the original website. Again, the goal is to find any possible spam that would roll out the domain. So let's go back to Domcop and look for a domain that hasn't been spammed. So let's take a quick look over at the domains in the list. Fishinglinks.com.au looks good. This domain we're going to have to rule out since it contains adult words in the domain name. Let's scroll a bit further down. This domain looks interesting. When I see short names such as this with letter abbreviations, I tend to think that they were some type of organization. So let's check out and spam check this domain. Again, let's first check it by clicking on the Wayback Archive button. Again, let's start off by checking what the website originally looked like. So let's click on the year 2002 and click on Any Date. This website looks like some sort of Canadian newspaper organization when it first existed. So let's keep that in mind and compare it with the most recent snapshot. Let's click on the most recent year and date. Okay, the web archive machine says it doesn't have the page archived and I don't see any redirect, which is good. So let's click on the next date, which will be the year 2014, and click on some dates. Click on the year 2014. Click on any date. Same results. Let's keep on searching until we find an archive page and check it for possible spam. Okay, this page is archived. Let's do a quick look and see if the content and look match the original date. We also want to look for any spammy words or links. Looks good. I don't see any. Also, the site has a little bit different look. Perhaps the site had an update, but it's still the same organization right up to when the domain dropped. Overall, it looks pretty good. Now that we verified that this website checks out with the Wayback Archive, let's go back to Domcop and check for spam using other tools. Okay, we are now back on the Domcop main dashboard. Let's further check this domain. The next spam check tool on the list is Screenshots. Screenshots is very similar to the Wayback Archive. So it also gives you historical snapshots of what a site looked like before. So let's click on the Screenshots button. Okay, we are now on the Screenshots page looking at the most recent snapshot of the domain. The most recent snapshot is of a GoDaddy Park page and contains no spam. Next, let's look at the next and final snapshot. Let's click on it. Again, we are looking for any major discrepancies, such as a totally different page to the original site, and also check for any spammy links or texts. Get a better look, click on the image. This snapshot looks good, and I see no spam. Now that we verified that the domain checks out OK with screenshots, we will go back to Domcop and use the next spam checking tool. The final and one of the most important spam checker tools is the Majestic SEO tool. Majestic SEO has a couple of handy tools that allow you to check whether or not if a domain is spammed or is of value based on its metrics. So let's go ahead and click on one of the Majestic SEO metric buttons. Okay. Now we're on the Majestic SEO main page. Let's further check this domain for any possible spam and to also check the quality of the domain based on its metrics. Worth noting, 
the main metrics are broken down and shown to be the following, the root domain, the subdomain, the path URL, and the URL. In this example, we will be checking with the subdomain, which includes a www in the domain, as I also tend to find better results based on the subdomain metric. As you can see, the trust flow is 14 and the citation flow is 12. They are pretty close to being equal and gives us a good indication on the quality of the domain, which in this example is pretty good. Next, you want to check the tropical trust flow. The tropical trust flow is a metric to categorize pages, domains, subdomains based on the topic or proximity to the overall topic. So in this example, you want to check for two things. Is a domain topically relevant to your own niche? Are there too many different and irrelevant topics? So what you want to look for is a domain that has both relevant topics to your own niche and doesn't have too many different topics that are not related to your site. So in this domain example, we can see news and newspapers as one of the main topics. You can also see news and directories, which fits both into the overall theme and is relevant to the newspaper expired domain. Next is the total number of backlinks to the total number of referring domains. You want to shoot for a ratio for every one domain should equal around 20 backlinks. In this case, this has a good ratio and is acceptable. Next, you want to check for any anchor text spam. So let's scroll down. What you want to check for is any foreign words or characters or any spam looking words, such as Viagra, Cialis, etc., along with any Chinese or Russian words that come to mind. You want to avoid those. You also want to make sure that not one anchor text is being overused, as this can trigger a Google penalty. As you can see in this example pie chart, there's a good even distribution of the anchor text and looks very natural. Next, you want to double check if those links are still alive. I usually just check the first top five links. But before we click on the first link, let's copy the anchor text word so we can search for that word in the backlink. Now let's click on the first link. Okay, now let's search for that anchor text word to see if that link is still live. In order to do that, let's do a control F shortcut on my windows. And I believe command F is for Mac. Paste. Okay, I see the domain highlighted and I can see the link is still alive. Now let's go back and do the same for the rest of the domains. Same thing. Copy the anchor text. Click on the next link. Good. This link is alive. On to the next. Click on the next link, Control F, paste, hmm, this one doesn't seem to be alive or it was missed tight. Let's take out the www, still don't see it. Perhaps this link is no longer alive. Let's go back. Let's go to the last link at the bottom, copy the anchor text, click on the link, control F for Windows, paste, good, this link is alive as well, go back, okay, you can now see the importance on double checking to see if those backlinks are alive as I found one that wasn't. Now let's go back to the DomCop main dashboard and check to see if that domain is available to purchase. All in all, I'm pretty satisfied with this domain. 
We filtered and also verified that the domain is clean and doesn't contain any spam. This domain would be great if you had a niche in the news or newspaper industry and wanted a quality domain pointing to your site. Okay, now let's check to see if this domain is available for purchase. If you look over on the right hand side, you will see a list of domain registrars. Let's click on the GoDaddy icon. Yep, this domain is available for registration and is ready to be picked up as when this video was created. To purchase this domain, you must have a registered account with GoDaddy. This concludes this tutorial on spam checking with DomCop. Thanks for visiting and I hope to see you on the next video.